I'm going to teach you how to create this crazy music video effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can do things such as change the color and alter the effect very simply within Premiere Pro. If you enjoy this effect, you might want to check out the drag and drop preset pack that I made. Link in the description. Use code YouTube for 10% off. First, you're going to go to your project bin and hover over new item and go to adjustment layer and press OK. Once you're done that, you can drag it over your clip and all the adjustments we're going to make in this video are going to be on the adjustment layer. Next, to create the glow effect, we're going to search up Gaussian Blur, and we're going to increase this to around 75. Once you apply this, you won't be able to see your clip until you change the blend mode to screen, and then once you do that, you can see it. You'll notice once you apply this effect, your clip gets a lot brighter, and to create for a more neutral look, what you might want to do is go over to Lumichi Color and just bring down the curves here. You can also create a mask on the Gaussian Blur and turn down the opacity. So here we have this mask, we're gonna just increase it so that it covers the entire image and then we're gonna lower the opacity. I'm gonna keep it at around 70. The next effect we're gonna use is called Find Edges. So here you can see when you first apply Find Edges, it basically creates an outline of your existing footage. We're gonna press Invert and we're just gonna drag it on top of all the other effects we've applied so far. If you change the blend mode to normal, you can actually see how Find Edges looks like. What we've done so far is we basically created this outline that focuses on the subject so here you can see it adapts with the moving video. Next, we're going to apply another Lumichi color. So we're just going to right click on Lumichi color right here and just copy it and then right click and paste it. We're going to make the adjustments for the second Lumichi color in the effects panel. You want to go over to curves once again. We can just bring this back to normal. What we really want to do is just create a bunch of zigzags for every single curve that's available here. So we're going to start from the bottom here. You just want to make a bunch of points on this line and just drag them up and drag them down and keep doing this for every single curve. And so right away, you can see what happens on screen is that her face is sort of turning purple. And so as we keep doing this, the final product will become more visible. Next, we're gonna apply another Gaussian blur to make this look a bit more fluid. Right now, if you zoom in, there's a lot of different lines and we basically wanna simplify this. So if we apply another Gaussian blur and just drag it at the top and just slowly increase it, you can see that these many lines turn to a less amount of lines. So depending on how much you wanna simplify it, you can increase it. So I might do something like 25 right now. The last few effects we're gonna apply are just to boost the saturation and the contrast. So you can actually just do this in Lumichi Color as well. So you can just boost vibrance, saturation, contrast, all that sort of stuff. Or you can also search up Proc Amp right here and just drag it onto your clip and just bring it to the top. In this effect, we have all the settings we really want. And we can also use keyframes to animate color change, saturation change, brightness change, stuff like that. An example of this is if we increase contrast and cycle through, you can see there's almost like light moving through these different lines here. You can also do the same thing with hue and change the color. We're gonna press on the stopwatch for hue as well as contrast and just move it to the beginning. And then we're gonna just drag the slider and it'll cycle through a bunch of different settings. So right now we're cycling through colors right here. As for the contrast, I'm gonna make it really high towards the middle and then fade back to normal. So it goes from 100 to around 188 and then goes back to 100. And you can make the animation happen a little bit faster if you just move the keyframes together. So if we press play right here, you can see how that looks like. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check the playlist in the end screen for more Premiere Pro tutorials just like this.